Okay, y'all. We have made it to the RTR. Everybody stopped and got their um, passes that they needed to. And I told the old gentleman that's been there for years, do y'all see this little rig in front of me? Now that is a truck camper. And it is so cute the way they've got their doors on there and their cute little curtains. Now, that is adorable. But anyway, when I told the gentleman, I'm only gonna be here a day or two, he just said, go on in, you don't need a pass. Now, easy for him to say, I guess I could get into some trouble if one of the rangers was out here. And um, that was Chuck that just went by in his truck and it looks like he picked up some passengers. He's got this great big white dog. It looks like an American Husky, but I'm not sure. Now, you know, a lot of people come out here and they drag, especially the big class A's, they drag a little vehicle behind them and they call them a toad. And so they drag a little car or something like that behind their class A because when you get everything all leveled and you get everything set out the way you want it, if you need to go into town for something, these roads are so rough, y'all. But this is nothing compared to what we're gonna have when we turn off into the actual RTR. I really hate I mean, they could have parked. There's so many places out here that are closer that would be just as good, in my humble opinion, okay? But um, anyway, so they have these little vehicles so that if they want to go into town, they don't have to re-hook everything or unhook it. So... That's really awesome. And you see a lot of people also, the boomerangers or boomers are here having a little get together. I'm not sure what they are, but they call themselves the boomers and they come out here every year too. But anyway, you know what? I have had people already that have hollered out to me, Hey, Deborah Joy. So I go over and meet him and this one sweet, sweet lady, she's going, you're my favorite. And that is so awesome, y'all. That's one thing I love about this so-called van dwelling community. It's really anybody on wheels. That is so awesome. People are so sweet and so friendly. And if you have a problem out here, like last year, Jamie did my brakes for me, and then my alternator went bad, and he did those for me with the help of, I believe the gentleman's name was Philip. I'm pretty sure. I'm so bad with names, y'all. It's awful. It's really awful. So oh, anyway, y'all, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> I was going to say a lot of folks that um, drive Class C's, a lot of them have toads as well. Now, y'all, there are some vehicles out here that are half a million dollar Class A's. And there are some little vehicles out here, y'all. And I just, I don't know, I feel so bad for them. Their rigs are being held together by a prayer and a string. I mean, they are so old and in such bad shape. I mean, really bad shape. They are a lot braver than I am. Looks like Caravan Carolyn up there pulled in to the right. 
So I'm not sure if this is where they're gonna wanna camp. I don't really know. Last year, if y'all remember, Carolyn and I parked right down in the very center of the RTR. We got here early and that's where we went. And Irene was with us too. But um, we didn't last very long. I really, I mean, it just got so full, so fast. Can y'all see this? If I lose them, I will be lost forever. No, you're good, you're good. Thank you. Um, I would be forever lost. I get lost in the bathroom, y'all, you know that. So, um, thank you, lady. So anyway, last year, we kept having to move farther out and farther out from the middle of the campsite because it got so crowded. And I don't think we're right in the middle, if I can see that big old fire pit. Now, Kevin was telling me yesterday what would be good for me to have, and I can't show it to you, but they're little, little, little Class C's, and they have a Toyota truck that runs them. And I have heard, y'all, they get into the 300,000 miles on them. The scary thing is they're very, very old. And, um... I don't know how some of these ladies, last year I met a lady and she was traveling with five dogs, y'all, five. Kevin's got his hand full with three. But anyway, Kevin was telling me that that's the vehicle that I should try to get is um, they do have a tiny bathroom. As long as I have a shower, I'm fine. I can brush my teeth in the kitchen sink or even outside. I don't know, we're crisscrossing around here, y'all. Carolyn's in the lead, so we're just going, we're just following her. Oh, looks like she might be turning around. Now you see people out here and they um, have big old cameras and they're on a big tripod and all this stuff. So I don't know what we're doing really ow these are some ow these are some big old rocks y'all is it okay to park like right up there i'm not in quarantine <laughs> told you that nasty rumor. I'm gonna go right up there. Hazel, be quiet. I'm sorry, y'all. You see that? That's a conversion van, y'all. They are so cool. But they don't have a bathroom. This one is pulling a trailer. And she's got, I'm going to say she, but they have got their solar. Looks like a suitcase panel. It's very portable. And you can put it in whichever direction that the sun is shining. Now, that lady that was talking to me. I'm not going to say their name. I think it's Cherry and Scott, but I could have that wrong. But y'all, I'm going to cut this off and step out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.